squash is abundant right now. So here to share a delicious side dish recipe, we welcome back author of Wandering Palette, Erica Schleck. Hi, Erica. Hi, how are you? Good. So what are we going to do with squash today? So today we are going to turn this gorgeous little acorn squash into a maple glazed roasted squash. Ooh. And a few fun facts about squash, this squash in particular, it's actually considered a winter squash, or I'm sorry, a summer squash, but most of us use it in the winter. So it's a perfect transition squash to get us with that nutty fall flavor, but still have it be available early in the fall. Oh, love it. Okay, so how do you, first of all, how do you cut it open? So that is a trick. So yeah. it's quite a workout, really. So what I usually do is I cut the top and the bottom off, and then you just want to discard those. And I've got one that's already cut in half here, so you can see it gives it nice little flat edges. And here's the easy part. I just use a spoon to scoop out all those seeds. And you can roast them, but you know you don't get too, too many seeds. So if you really want to go for roasted seed, there's plenty of pumpkins right now that you can do that with. And that is it. So that's that gets us cleaned up. Now, this is a part, Ellen, where I could use your help. It takes some muscle to do Yeah. <laughs> you definitely want a sharp knife. And I just kind of put my hand on it and really, really, really got to put some pressure on it slice through it. So it's yeah. quite a little bit of a workout, but a sharp knife makes a big difference. Okay, and gotcha. I cut, it, I cut it into about one inch slices, and that's all we need to do to prep it. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and bought some pre-slice. So you don't have to see me struggle slicing these on air. <laughs> and uh, got them here on a parchment lined baking sheet, and they're ready to go. So now we are going to make our maple blades. And that's fairly simple. I've got some melted coconut oil here. And I've got about two tablespoons of uh, maple syrup. And you wanna make sure to use real maple syrup for this. It's gonna give it such a great flavor. And of course, a little bit of sea salt. I've got some nutmeg to get those fall flavors in there and some cinnamon as well. And that's all we gotta do. Just use our whisk, twist this together, make sure all that seasoning is fully combined in there. And now, I love to use a little pastry brush. These are, I have a silicone one, so these are really great to just kind of coat the squash. And you want to make sure to coat both sides of it um, with your brush. And that's all we have to do. Once you coat one side of them, you just flip them over on your parchment sheet and coat the other side and then pop these in the oven. And it'll cook in about 30 minutes or so. Um, you'll want to flip them about halfway through, so just keep an eye on it depending on your oven. Okay. And that's it. It comes out with this gorgeous, oh golden, gosh. all color. It's so good. I wish you could smell it. And I like to lay it out on a nice long dish like this, garnish it with a little bit of rosemary, give it more of that festive fall look. Um, also works great as a fall salad I have on my, on my blog as well. Um, you can top it on that if you want something a little heartier or just use it as a delicious side with anything else you're cooking. Looks great. The book again is called Wandering Palette, and we'll put the recipe on our website at katu.com. Erica, thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll be right